A solemn ceremony tonight to mark the 33rd anniversary of the Ecole Polytechnique mass shooting. It was one of a handful of tributes planned throughout the day. We're here again, as we are every year, gathered uh, to remember 14 women, 14 brilliant young women killed simply because they were women. On December 6, 1989, a man motivated by a hatred of feminists shot and killed 14 women and injured 13 others at the Montreal Engineering School. 33 years ago may seem like a long time. For some of us, it feels like yesterday. But the fact that we're still uh, crying over murdered women in Winnipeg and across the country um, in the news these days means that we have so much more work to do to fight against gender-based violence. Tonight, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau joining other politicians and dignitaries holding white roses to commemorate the lives lost and to raise awareness about violence against women and girls. Trudeau discussing his party's plan to tackle gun crime. We have more to do to make sure uh, that we are keeping those weapons out of our communities, out of our country. We're not going after the hunting rifles and the shotguns uh, that are part of the way of life for many Canadians. But we are ensuring that weapons that were designed to kill the largest number of people as quickly as possible are not available to anyone in Canada. Today also marks 105 years since two ships collided in Halifax, leading to an explosion that killed about 2,000, injured 9,000 others, and flattened parts of the city. The Mont Blanc's cargo included 2,500 tons of high explosives and a deck load of monochlorobenzene. A few seconds before 9.05 a.m., the ship blew up. Houses, schools and factories were all reduced to kindling. It was described as a field of horrors. The collision's fire resulted in the world's largest human-made blast until an atomic bomb was detonated in 1945. The mayor of Halifax tweeting in part, we rebuilt and eventually moved ahead, but we never forget the fateful day in our history.